Ezekiel saw the wheel. This is the wheel he said he saw. These are unidentified flying objects that people say they are seeing now. Are they proof that we are being visited by civilizations from other stars? Or just what are they? The United States Air Force began an investigation of this high strangeness in a search for the truth. What you were about to see is part of that 20-year search. Welcome to beautiful Wyoming. Look at those ski slopes, Peg. Oh, that's my kind of world. Break out the boards, open the wax, and give me my parachute. Check the center for traffic out of Stapleton. All right. Doing it? Yes. 
why is the plane bouncing so? It's just a little turbulence. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Seat belt and no smoking on. Denver Center, this is Inter America 5 4. Do you read? Inter America 5 4, Denver Center, go. Ed? 12 o'clock low. You see it? What was it? Inter America 5 4, this is Denver Center, over. Denver Center 5 4, do you show another aircraft to our airspace? Negative 5 4, checking area scope. Yes, I do show something now, closing on you. What the hell is it? Inter America 5 4, radar contact, unknown traffic, three miles close, no altitude. Estimate speed 600, closing rate 1200. Lean on it. Yes, sir. This is Sergeant Fitz. Your transportation safety? That's right. Frank Waller's accident investigation. You made good time considering you were coming up wind. Smooth flight all the way. This aircraft sure didn't have one. It all started at 1750 hours. This aircraft, Flight 54, was en route to Dulles from Salt Lake. True airspeed, 325. Altitude, 37,000 feet, 20 miles north of Laramie, Wyoming. That's where they encountered the UFO. Flight recorder tell you anything? More than the pilots. How's that? In-flight emergency was declared, and they were rerouted here to Stapleton. Forty passengers were given medical treatment, 15 hospitalized. The captain and the co-pilot have some sort of a pact, and their company is going along with it for now. Nobody's available for comment. Not available to who? Me, the press, you name it. We don't have any authority to make them talk. You know that. Yes, sir, you do. Captain Mason asked me to notify somebody from Blue Book, but it's not going to be that easy. You'll still have to clear through the president of Inter-America. Why is that? They're the only people who know where the pilots are. Mm -hmm. 